family. What's going on? Praise the Lord. I pray that all of you are doing well. Blessings, grace, and peace to each and every one of you. I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice would receive this word. Walk in obedience in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you increase as I decrease in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into this prophetic dream that I had. And so uh, last week, the Lord gave me a dream about an individual who was about to be catapulted right into the success. And they were going to have like a, a slingshot effect. And uh, they were up for an advancement in their career, in their finances. And this individual had a mentor and this mentor came to them um, and they it seemed as though there was going to be like a celebration. But instead, the mentor says, hey, I want to talk to you. There are some things that I feel led to share with you, and one of them is your speech and your vocabulary and your word choices, such as cursing, you know, swearing, and saying things that are petty. So the individual was kind of taken back, and they felt discouraged, but at the same time, there was conviction because they knew that they had some areas of improvement and maturity as far as their language and the vocabulary choices. So that was where the dream ended. And I prayed on it and the Lord uh, reminded me of the dream and led me to Matthew chapter 15, verse 11. And in this chapter, Jesus is um, speaking and he's teaching them, you know, like he says that you, the people, they worship me with their uh, mouths and with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And then he says, you know, it's not what goes into the mouth that defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth that defiles this person. And so also the Lord led me to uh, Colossians chapter four, verse six, and it reads, let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. And then also he led me to Ephesians four. Um, and that's verse 29 that says, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearers. So as you listen to those scriptures, as you read your word, you'll be able to understand that as you are having intimacy with the Holy Spirit, the things that you used to say, the things that you used to do, the desire is, is, is soon fades away. And, you know, as we are praying for the blessings and we're giving God honor and thanks, we have to remember that that same mouth that we are using is, is meant to edify and to not tear down. And so it's a process, right? Before you were saved, you could have been saying all types of things. And there's a process and transformation that takes place when you are walking with the Lord. So you actually no, no longer have a desire to say certain things. And so um, I pray this word would bless you. Listen, it blessed me, and I know that um, if any of you are actually interested in a free coaching session, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. Yes, it's absolutely free. Glory to God. And um, I look forward to connecting with you. Check for availability and go ahead and get scheduled. Until next time, y'all, peace, love, and praise. God bless.